Is Rebecca Ferguson actually singing in The Greatest Showman? Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Bright Spotlight. Is Rebecca Ferguson actually singing in the film The Greatest Showman? Numerous celebrities have more than one talent and are able to sing, dance, play an instrument, act, and more. Many celebrities will bring their many talents to their work. Some actors will sing for films, and other celebrities have had successful careers in music and acting. Films that are musicals will often include multi-talented celebrities who are able to act, dance, and sing throughout the film. Rebecca Ferguson played the role of an opera singer, Jenny Lind, in the musical The Greatest Showman. Although audiences see her performing the songs, is Ferguson the person who is singing? Did Rebecca Ferguson actually sing in the film The Greatest Showman? Is Rebecca Ferguson actually singing in The Greatest Showman? Many celebrities are multi-talented. Some are able to sing and dance in films and TV shows. Others are musicians and writers as well as actors. Many will use their various talents on numerous projects. However, even if a celebrity is talented, some roles they play might call for extra help from others. Rebecca Ferguson looked incredible performing songs for the film The Greatest Showman. However, she wasn't actually singing. Although Ferguson attended a music school in Stockholm, Sweden, she told Collider, there's a difference between her experience and playing one of the greats. Most of the celebrities in the film sang their own songs. However, Ferguson's character in the film Jenny Lind, also known as the Swedish Songbird, is supposed to be one of the best singers in the world. The White Queen actor felt it would be best if someone with a stronger voice was brought in to sing her part. Ferguson seems to be open about someone else singing her part, saying, if I would F kicked that up, I would be embarrassed. So I thought, Lauren Allred, you just go for it, girl. According to Playbill, the Mission Impossible Fallout actor discussed working with songwriters Benj Pasek and Justin Paul on her character. Ferguson said they were working particularly movement-wise because she's, Jenny Lind, supposed to stand still, but somehow we needed to create crescendos and we needed to create emotions. Ferguson also made sure to work with Allred in order to seem like she was truly singing the song she was performing. I would listen to her intonations and the way that she would breathe and use her voice, so that when I sang because I sang every take with the playback, it would be a collaboration of her voice and my acting. Lauren Allred sang Rebecca Ferguson's songs for the film. Even if a celebrity has numerous talents, they might bring in someone for certain things like performing certain stunts or performing incredibly challenging songs, depending on what they are working on. Lauren Allred was chosen to sing for Ferguson's character, Jenny Lind. According to Cinema Blend, Allred discussed getting the job to sing for Ferguson. After some turbulent years in the music industry, followed by competing on The Voice, I needed a mental break, so I decided to pursue a career in studio work. One of the projects I was hired for was to sing the female demos for The Greatest Showman. Usually in a situation like this, the actress would use my vocal as a reference, but for Never Enough, the producers decided that they wanted to use my vocal for the movie itself. Continuing, Allred couldn't help but show her excitement about being involved in the project. This was such an unexpected and exciting turn of events. Lauren Allred faced controversy after performing Never Enough on Britain's Got Talent. According to Deadline, when Lauren Allred took the stage for Britain's Got Talent, she let the judges know she had been Rebecca Ferguson's singing voice for the film The Greatest Showman. After telling them, one of the judges, Simon Cowell, commented, So you sang one of the biggest songs of all time. You've revealed it wasn't the actress who sang the song in the movie, it was you singing that song. She then performed one of the hit songs she sang from the film Never Enough for the judges. This earned her a golden buzzer, which meant she would make it to the season finale. Cowell asked Allred how she had not yet landed some sort of recording deal. She said, I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes, but I kind of feel like the song was meant for me and now I'm ready to put a face to the song. Allred's appearance on Britain's Got Talent caused controversy, as many fans were upset by her appearance. According to The Mirror, one fan wrote, Lauren Allred is worth over $2 million, has over 3 million Spotify monthly listeners, and is an American and yet has to appear on Britain's Got Talent to take someone else's opportunity away from them? Make sure she doesn't win. Hash BGT. Another fan wrote, Why act like you're only known for your voice on Never Enough, which I love BTW when you've released your own singles featured on Michael Bublé's album and toured with Andrea Bocelli. Hash BGT. However, Allred said she deserved to appear on the show. She stated, Even though I have spent a lot of years in the music industry, people don't know who I am. Over all these years, I've been fighting for my chance to be known and to make it. 
This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.